Hi guys, Constantin here from CGC. Today I'm very excited to present to you an unboxing and review of a very special memory. It's the G-Skill Zeta R5 DDR5 memory. Now why is this special? Well, uh, a couple of things. First of all, um, it's in the name, it's RDIM memory. So it's not your regular uh, unbuffered memory, this is buffered memory. Um, what, what it means is it has ECC on so ECC error checking control um, It's in on the sticks itself and um, it's only compatible with the Xeon series at the moment from Intel the Sapphire Rapids one um, It's one of the first DDR5 RDIM memory Overclockable that I have seen on the market. Uh, it's actually it's so rare that you can't find it in the UK at the moment I had to order it from abroad literally paid shipping taxes and all that. It's not cheap I could tell you this it costs more than 600 pounds um, and the, the reason why it costs as much is it's um, Overclockable it supports XMP although it's server grade or workstation memory. It supports the XMP 3.0 profile Which means uh, you can overclock it um, I'm gonna show that to you try to show that to you um, In BIOS if I can do a sc screenshot of BIOS if not, um, I'll show it to you in, in Windows um, With this G skill achieved a, I believe it's a world record of memory bandwidth on an 8, eight channel memory card a memory card and an 8 channel memory motherboard it's the Asus Sage 1 W790 they've achieved 200 gigabytes per second now this is a quad channel uh, uh, memory so there's four sticks in there four 16 gigabyte sticks uh, it's 64 gigs it's for W um, it's the 4 w 790 ace motherboard which is quad channel now personally i don't need uh, octa channel because i don't use that much ddr memory but uh, with this in my system considering that i currently already have um, 64 gig of the same memory with this in my system i'm going to have 128 gigabytes of ddr5 memory running at 6400 mega transfers per second that is just crazy guys and this is like workstation class computer it's not a gaming computer although this is gaming speed memory but be aware because of the ECC and the type of memory this one uh, will be slower than the regular uh, unbuffered um, memory that you currently have uh, on the market for the DDR5 one so it's this memory is not for gaming but it's extremely fast and it's um, extremely extremely um, efficient for Intel Xeon workstation CPUs now we're gonna do the unboxing uh, because I'm filming this with holding the camera I'm just gonna open the box and then show it to you in a minute now the memory itself um, feels and looks very premium from the boxing up as you can see each stick has its own place nicely in this foam protective uh, medium here um, now what I don't like about it is in the picture that you see on the web when you buy it it looks like there's a um, metal protective um, uh, heat dissipation uh, kind of like case for the memory that you know it, you normally see it on, on DDR5 the, the ones that are overclocked and stuff like that but this one just has a tiny sticker so this one is just a tiny sticker it's like a tin foil that covers it and it's supposed to do heat dissipation now it either must mean that it doesn't give away a lot of heat or um, it must mean that um, it's, they're not bothered about the heat that much um, again, this is the only thing I don't like about it. Apart from that, um, this is the unboxing. It's a regular DDR5 stick. The only different thing is it has a ECC um, chip on the stick, on the memory stick itself. And uh, we're gonna try to we're gonna install it in the W790 motherboard and run a few tests with it. Okay guys, so here we go, second part of the video. So again, apologies, I didn't do a proper video with the unboxing because unfortunately I did film it. But um, for some reason I messed up the autofocus on the camera and I can't clear it in Premiere Pro. I don't have the skills yet. I've tried to do a lot of things to it, but it didn't work. So unfortunately, we're just gonna do a bit of static photos and um, 
um, I'm just gonna do my best to just show you uh, the test so um, on the second part of this video I want to talk about when did the this memory was first announced so um, the first time I found out about it was quite close to this date so that's uh, February 23rd when they first announced it that's when pretty much the Intel announced the Sapphire Rapids um, uh, architecture for well they they released the Sapphire Rapids, Rapids architecture on paper of course because you couldn't find it at, until probably April um, right so that's when they've also announced um, uh, this memory so it's the G Skill Z Tire 5 series this is the, uh, this is an article this was not the product itself the product itself was not available on their website until again probably end of March beginning of April so this is the first um this is a, a picture of how the memory they, they said it's gonna look like it, it it is like this but just be aware there's no memory heat sink on it this is just the foil and um that foil is is sort of like bent here because there's a massive chip here it might be the ecc so um again they've announced the 6800 octo channel ddr5 now that's not yet available um the best you can find at the moment is the 6400 you can find it in octo channel configuration and quad channel as well but again you have to do a lot of, s of research to find it because it's not available on, on, on all the stores there i believe you for the us you can find it on newegg and in the uk there's a site called memoryc.com you can find it on now um it, when I first read about it, I was amazed by the fact that first of all, it's octo channel DDR5, which is like even quad channel DDR5 is massive. What about octo channel? And the other thing that was really, really impressive was the scores that they've put on here. So this one does, um, if you look at it and it, it blows your mind, 303 gigs read, 227 gigs write, 250 copy and 86 nanosecond latency. So, um, so that's on a 56 core uh sapphire rapids uh, xeon cpu right okay so um and this is for the 6800 memory now unfortunately i did not find this one uh you cannot uh, again I, I cannot find this one anywhere on online um so if we uh go forward um into the article itself i'm gonna post this link it just talks more about it it just talks that this is pretty much a record in terms of uh, ida's benchmark scores um, and it just shows you a detailed video of the memory um, so uh, that's the most important thing in this article again when you move down um, they don't describe the when you move down the article they don't describe the um, 6800 memory they describe the 6400 memory which I have as well and I've presented to you as well so this is the general CL timing 32 39 39 102 and kit capacity you can find it quad and octo channel so we already know this stuff um, and also it, it, it did say that it will be available from the uh, end of March 2023 which kind of was but it actually was somewhere around April that you could actually order it and it it starts to it we, we, yeah in the deliveries is again end of aprilish um right so this was the first article they released now about a month and a half later they've actually released the web page for it where you can see specifications and review of the memory so on the web on the memory specification page and description there's a bit more stuff that they d they wrote about it so again it's um it's got overclocking performance it's got the xmp profile which is xmp 3.0 it's the latest one from intel um again the it, they they, they um, repeatedly say that it has Andi ECC sideband ECC RDIM again server grade workstation quality territory here. Do not buy these to install in your like um, um, 13 series or 12 series CPUs. It will not work on any other CPUs apart uh, on any other architectures apart from Xeon um, workstation. So it's W790 and um the sapphire rapids uh, cpus from xeon socket 426 4677 right um one uh, another thing that it does say and i didn't see it as well and it didn't say in the article dedicated temperature sensors um for temperature monitoring again it does not have a heat sink it has just a f very slight very thin foil so i don't know if it's either they're happy for 
um, they they're happy to uh, for the memory to operate at high temperatures or it doesn't go very very high um, maybe this one slows down the memory if it gets too hot um, it doesn't say exactly what the temperature sensors uh, what the information goes to and who controls the, 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 the temperature sensor as in what it does with that temperature um, again I could not read the temperature of the DDR in any of the the hardware tools available like hardware info CPUs or anything like that because um, the, the memory is so new it hasn't been implemented yet in in this um, in a lot of, 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 of uh, um, uh, software out there so it's probably going to be implemented as we go along right um, this is the um, pretty much the, the the thing that makes this memory so unique or well, not unique so so powerful and so different than the uh, the standard DDR5 is the registered clock driver so that's why it's an RDIM one so RD memory, it, it, it's been out there, it's not new, um, but it's just that um, it, they haven't done, this is the first overclockable RD memory A, and B, uh, it's the first DDR5 RD memory that I could find um, that's, that's actually like extremely performant and it's um, enthusiast class, so you could find RD memory DDR4 as well, but that's mostly server class. No one likes them. It's like they're not built for enthusiasts They're built for servers and workstations and stuff like that But this one this is built for enthusiasts because of the the fact that it's overclockable and the fact that so it's basically a new market That's what I'm trying to say the fact that you know I You find it in retail packages and stuff like that the nice little brown brown black box Sorry, and this is some spiel about the XMP support and as usual lifetime warranty Which everybody has a G skill course there they Kingston they will offer you lifetime warranties now another thing that I want to say about this one and w w again it makes it um uh, really really rare is the fact that and and it, it, it places it on top of other RD memories is the fact that it's the fastest one at the moment so the next competitor to this G skill memory is uh, the Kingston one um, but before that let me just go through some specs so again DDR5 the ones that th this is the model that um, currently is most what is most available so DDR5 64 gig that's 16 uh, four dims of 16 gig each um, quad channel, uh, 6400 mega transfers. These are the timings. 1.4 volt memory. It is registered. It's got those two sideband ECC and ANDA ECC. Speed. That's the default speed, 5600. So if you don't activate the XMP profile, this is the speed it's gonna run at. The XMP profile you activate it in BIOS under. Um, uh, so you go in BIOS and you activate the XMP profile in one of the BIOS pages. Uh, no fans. And again, all sorts of spiel about XMP 3.0 now as I said going going past this the next competitor for this is the Kingston Fury so the Kingston Fury although it's a good memory it's the same type of, of memory so it's RDIM XMP 3.0 enabled memory um, but the thing that uh, you think that places this memory second in my view is the fact that it goes up to 6000 mega m mega transfers per second for a uh, while the g skill one goes to 6400 so the g skill one is actually faster but again they're both very very good but again the g skill is faster they, they did say they're going to have 6 800 models probably they they don't have it uh, widely available yet but um yeah as i said this is like the second enthusiast grade um uh, memory that y um, you could find in if you want to build the W790 um, and Intel and Sapphire Rapids uh, system out there again it's you, you can find this one on Kingston website this is a, a lot more accessible than the G skill one to be honest um, and obviously if you're what I'm trying to say here is if you're a system builder um, you're probably not going to look into either this one or uh, the G skill one because they will be the, the price tag will be a bit too high and they're more more for retail if you're like um, a company that needs uh, 100 of these workstations with Sapphire Rapids you're not gonna want on, on each of them to, to put this very expensive memory you recommend is you're probably gonna use uh, something like this so 16 gig for 800 ECC registered memory so this is most accessible for companies because um, the performance difference or it's there and you can see it um, the price is um, a lot less, so 90 quid per uh, per uh, stick. So that's uh, what 90 times 
uh, so let's say you, you need four so that's 360 quid per four sticks of 60 memory so that's pretty much half the price what you would pay for the retail version of the G skill so uh, again this is what probably most builders uh, are gonna go for when they're specking out configurations for the for workstations based on Sapphire Rapids because um, again um, if you're if you're a company you don't need uh, and you don't want enthusiast grade um, DDR5 you just want DDR5 that's quick uh, and uh, it's accessible and it's it's basically like 15 20 percent less performance but you don't care much about that uh, you care more about the PCIe lanes that, that, that the processor gives you and the DDR5 support itself um, so again um, right now, now let's go to the uh, benchmark section so uh, as, as we discussed uh, in terms of benchmark unfortunately there's not many tools that can uh, uh, literally um, read this memory uh, specifications out there because I, I think it's very very new and the drivers aren't out there yet for everybody uh, but we did manage to test it in IDA just like um, GSkill did on their uh, article so um, yeah it would be amazed to find out that actually it is the fastest memory that IDA64 currently has in its uh, benchmark uh, database. So mine scored 134, um, so that's 134 gigabytes per second roughly uh, on a Intel Xeon W73445 CPU. So as you can see, this is pretty much the fastest one. It's faster than, so the rest of them are DDR4, so they're not even compatible. Now the for your information only this is how much a uh raptor lake ddr5 memory scores so a raptor lake ddr5 memory would score somewhere around 89 gigabytes a second this one scores 134 gigabytes a second again this is quad channel the um uh, raptor lake memory is gonna be uh pretty much dual channel but because ddr5 you will act like quad one right the thread ripper uh bandwidth so the thread ripper would be somewhere around 84 uh gigabytes a second 84 85 gigabytes a second for quad memory oct and uh, the thread ripper pro which is octo memory would be somewhere around there as well um again uh if you go even lower ddr3 it's 77 gigs so as you can see at the moment ddr5 is just a king in terms of memory read memory write is pretty much the same situation so 115 gigabytes a second roughly next one is the xeon um e5 which is 93 gigabytes a second so um and that is octo channel ddr4 so this is quad channel ddr4 so our results uh are less than uh, what um, uh, GSkill put on their article, but because we're uh, are I'm using quad channel instead of uh, octo channel. Again, 34. Uh, so wh what do we have here? So we have again octo channel DDR3. Not interested. Um, a 13 series CPU. So that's Intel 13 series GPU. The Z790 chipset will do about 700, 7, so 77 gig. Um, so this is more than like 40 50 percent higher in terms of memory copy again this one is king so ddr5 6400 uh, beats uh, octa octa ddr4 on the xeon and beats the thread reaper in terms of memory um copy memory latency that's a different story because it's our dim it will have memory latency so either this tool is not properly done or this is actually how latent is it, it is this is the latency of the memory again um latency w when dealing with this type of our dim ddr5 latency is not something that um uh, you're looking for right yeah so in terms of um yeah uh latency it does seem like it's quite it's not quite it's not that quick but ddr5 normally has a high latency and again for the applications you will be using ddr5 you're more interested in the read and writes uh, speeds rather than latency um, so obviously this memory is not going to do great for games as the cpu as well because the these cpus that they, they don't they're not built for gaming they're not as fast as you can game on them obviously but do not expect high-end performance so a 13 series raptor lake cpu will be a lot faster than a xeon uh, class uh, cpu 
right in terms of cpu um the now there's not much information that i can read about this memory because it's the the drivers itself in the program is, are not quite they can't actually read the memory itself so this is the best i could find so i can confirm the clocks are the ones that i can confirm the clocks my mem memory set up at the moment and the xmp profile is the xmp profile that the manufacturer has fortunately the support for the 790 um chipset on the asus motherboard is excellent so i didn't have any issues the motherboard detected the memory itself it ran without a hitch sorry so again we've got 128 gigabytes of ddr5 quad channel memory 6400 um this is the frequency is going to run at these are the timers unfortunately there's not much information i got about the manufacturer and the speed itself because of the probably the version of the cpu z you they'll probably have this in another version if they do improve it i'll probably make an uh, uh, addendum to this video and i'll say the, the proper information that we got out there so unfortunately this is the best we got now let's run a benchmark just like they ran in the article for gskill let's see how fast this memory is it will probably be in the uh because i've done it once it will work uh ddr5 uh, pcie 5.0 lanes so it's more future proof in terms of performance i don't think it's the software is optimized for it yet so from the reviews i've seen performance for this platform isn't great because the software isn't there it's a completely new architecture especially if you go for the 3 400 series which are uh, more cpu tiles on one so that's intel's technology intel's response to amd chiplet technology which is um, multiple cpu tiles on the same chip uh, again new technology no one's optimized software for it yet so um if you're looking at the benchmarks before buying it i would say you'll be probably disappointed and you won't be able to justify the money but i think it's a platform that's gonna get support as time just goes by for it like any new platform so these are the results we got at the moment as you can see guys the results are quite impressive right guys so thank you very much for watching cheers